Okay, I'm on a split board today. The advantage with the split board to snowshoes is I don't have to carry anything extra around. When I get to the bottom here, all I do is undo these pins. Like this. Pull the binding plates off. Set those aside. Once I have the bindings off, I just need to separate the board. There's a couple of clips I need to undo, one in the front, one in the back, and the board comes apart. There's also these clips right here I just need to tuck away. Once you've split the snowboard into two skis, you need to switch them from side to side so that you have the curved edge on the inside. That's the way they're meant to go uphill. And you want to take your binding. The plate goes in like this, and the pin just goes through this hole to create a hinge, clips in like that, and you're ready to go. Now I'm going to put the skins on. The easiest way to do that is to stand the skis up in the snow, get your skins out of your bag, and with the snowboard skins there's a left and a right to them. One side is curved and the other side is straight. Pull them apart, put the tip on the top, and stick the skin to the base of the ski. So once you've got the skin on, the clip just goes over the top. Now all that's left to do is buckle in and head up. Yeah. So when you get to the end of your gentle switchback climb, you need to turn around. The easiest way is just to do a gentle arcing turn. If you get to the end of a swing on your switchback that's too steep to do a walking turn, there's another technique you can use. It's called a kick turn looks something like this. Everything that goes up must come down. Time to switch the skis back over to snowboard mode. That's it guys, see you at the bottom.